Hi there, lovely to have you with us for this mindfulness moment. I'm Tove Kane. I've been talking about the core components of mindfulness. One of the components that I really like is mindfulness gives you a sense of choice. Very often we feel we have no choices, we're stuck in the moment, this is not my choice being in the coronavirus COVID-19 lockdown, it's not my choice, I'm not happy, and we start to develop a whole long list of things to justify this is not my choice. But one thing you do have, you do have a choice as to how you let your mind expand along a first thought. So thoughts do kind of rush in and then they rush out again. I challenge you to keep a sustained thought. It's not possible. It's the nature of thoughts to, you know, spiral in and spiral off again. But what happens is when you have a thought that is persistent and if it keeps nagging at you, then it's time to pay some attention. And what's really refreshing is to know that you do have a choice. So you don't even have to keep thinking this thought. I have a phrase uh, that I use when I'm doing a, a photography session for people and I'll casually you know, speak over my camera. I'll say, it's my, uh, it's my sixth last photograph. And I sometimes use that too because I, have, I do battle with dark emotions of my own. I do get into depressions. I do feel, I know that my body can, can feel painful and therefore, and then my mind just goes, oh yeah, this is a painful experience. I'm gonna join in. I've, I notice I'm having sad thoughts too. I feel, it's just, I feel stuck. I feel pain. So what I'm saying is the mind and the body will work together and they will, in a way, build up some momentum. But the good thing is, mindfulness will also give you the opportunity to whoop, kind of separate out of all of that instant stuff happening and become a witness to your own life, become a witness to the thoughts that you are generating in your own mind. And when you recognize you're a witness, you then can also expand, I have choice. And the choice means I can choose to feel worse in this moment or I can choose to acknowledge this doesn't feel great for me at the moment and I would like to feel something a bit lighter. And that choice is yours to make. So you don't have to be stuck in the conditions. Mindfulness will give you the awareness to know, I, I don't like these conditions that much. Yeah, I would like something, I would like to experience something that just feels softer, kinder, more manageable, less stressed. And yeah, that would be nice. And if it would be nice, what can you do about it? Well, choice implies decision. And it's as simple as that. Decide differently. Get active about it. As the moment happens, mindfulness will give you the awareness. Then you have the choice. And decide. Do I want to feel more of this? Or would I like to feel a little lighter? It's a lovely thing to know that, yes, the conditions exist, but I have a choice as to what I'm going to do about them, how I'm going to respond to them. It's my choice. I hope that resonates with you. Please let me know. Be in touch, make your comments and share these videos as freely as you like. Be kind to yourself and those around you.